It was an incredible moment because I had done so much work for Whitney and I'd never really seen her wearing these dresses at exactly the time that she wore them. So to actually turn on the television and know that she was there and seeing her in that dress was an incredible moment for me. This is the dress that was worn by Whitney Houston to the Grammy Awards in 1994. And on that evening, she won three Grammys, including Record of the Year for I Will Always Love You and Album of the Year for the Bodyguard soundtrack. So it was a really big night for Whitney Houston. And this is a really, really special dress. So the dress was designed by Mark Bauer and he worked closely with Whitney Houston designing pieces for her to wear on stage. I was continuously creating dresses for Whitney for so many years and I didn't always know exactly what they were going to be used for. But I did know that she, Whitney was doing a concert in South Africa and she wanted African inspired looks for that concert. Me coming from South Africa, having grown up looking at a lot of huts that were made out of mud that were painted in these very geometric patterns and very brightly colored, they were very, very graphic. So when I saw this fabric, to me it wasn't exactly African, but it had that very sort of geometric feeling that I associated with a lot of African art. And I wasn't 100% sure where she was going to wear this. I thought it was probably for the South African tour. But lo and behold, we switched on the television one night and there was Whitney at the Grammys in this dress. So it's a full length dress with a high neck collar and long sleeves. And you can see that it's quite a figure hugging dress because you can see the curve of the hips and it goes down into this long um, skirt, which is actually quite narrow, but it slightly kicks out at the back into this little sort of fishtail. So even though Whitney Houston wore this to the Grammy Awards, it was designed by Mark Bauer with performance in mind. So the stretch would allow her to move and dance and perform. So actually this fabric came from a bathing suit manufacturer and Whitney loved stretch things. And I think why she loved my clothes so much is that everything stretched and it fitted her like a glove. And I had made a basic pattern that fit her perfectly pretty much from the start. And I kept that as a basic that we made all her dresses from. And this, all I did was, you know, maybe change the bottom a little bit. I would, of course, add the high neck and the long sleeve. But the body shape was one that I had created for Whitney and worked so many times for so many dresses for her. It's got this really bold geometric print. And then on top of that um, print, it's covered in hundreds of Swarovski crystals, which really highlight the design and give it that wow factor. I knew that I was going to take this fabric and I was gonna completely change it. I love the way it was kind of different all over. It had stripes, it was up and down, it had these sort of weird triangles on, it had these like zigzags, scribbles. So I thought, well, how am I going to make this fabric really, really pop by adding color? and by adding glass stones to it. You can see here that the Swarovski crystals have been attached by hand. Every single one has been attached by hand and secured from the front of the fabric through to the back. It actually makes the garment quite heavy. It was a tremendous amount of work. And I think I got like almost to about here, you know, midway of the dress, and I was like, oh my God, I just cannot do this anymore. And I remember calling a bunch of my friends to come over and help me with this, this little, it was a little gadget that put on these Swarovski stones. You can sort of grab them with a clamp from behind. And you'd have to put that underneath the dress and you'd have to place the stone exactly where you wanted and make the, show the backing was underneath and you had to like hammer it down and then move on to the next one. Eventually we got this dress finished. What's so exciting about being able to work on this piece is that we have the original design by Mark Bauer for this dress for Whitney Houston, and I have a copy of it here. And this has been really helpful for me to reference, to see 
Mark Bauer's original design intention alongside images of Whitney Houston on the night and then also having you know the garment here to work with and to take measurements from. So having all of those elements, I've been able to customise the mannequin and build out the mannequin with layers of polyester wadding to make sure I've got the garment to fit perfectly. What's really important for this piece is to ensure that the figure is really well supported because the Swarovski crystals make the fabric quite heavy. So it's really important that it doesn't actually stretch in the wrong direction um, whilst it's on display. So that's why the padding um, really helps to kind of embody the, the garment and give it that softness and support that it needs to be on display on a mannequin. You can see now that it's on the mannequin actually how high that collar stands. I think the story goes that she, you know, she liked to keep her vocal cords warm. She liked to sort of have that support around her neck. You can see the way that the Swarovski crystals captures the light, which gives you a sense of how it would have looked in movement. So the, the hem just slightly pulls at the bottom. So whilst it's quite a slender cylindrical shape, there is ease and movement, which would actually make it easier to walk in as well. Oh, wow. I'm over the moon to see this. This looks incredible. It's the first time I've seen the dress since it arrived mounted, fully mounted. And it's quite extraordinary what the team have done. Very, very clever. They've transformed the dress that we saw that, that arrived, that was packed in tissue paper in the box, and now it's taking on this life. Whitney's energy is back. <laughs>